Radio Tubers, welcome back. This is going to be one of those epic updates. I got another Opus. I was going to do an unboxing, but everyone's seen an Opus, and um, I just put it straight into production. This makes two Opus I have again, which is kind of a good thing. Um, I have got that 3D printed. I haven't knocked out the little things yet. I don't actually put a fan in the bottom either. I just run the, the bottom bit, and it seems to work well. So I'll mod that in a minute. Um, Opus, everyone's seen that. iCharger X6. Now, this was a product supplied for review from Banggood. It is going absolutely awesome. I have a video coming about that soon. Without a doubt, one of my favorite chargers. Um, I've held off on doing the review on that, uh, or releasing the review on that rather, because I want to make sure it actually does what it says it does on the box, which means if it says it can charge at 30 amps, I want to make sure it absolutely can. Um, what else have I got? Put a little inverter here, just for fun. Um, now this is the single most inefficient way of getting power out of my little power wall here. Um, so what I've done is I've just put 12 volts out of that into here thinking that I could run my surveillance cameras and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you have a look here, this is my usage. It's about $2 a day. And if you have a look, when I'm mining, it's like, I don't know, $4 a day. I'm trying to get that base. The base load is basically uh, lights and where I work every day. Uh, like a fridge goes 24 seven and stuff like that. So I was thinking I could take the base load off the shed and save myself another couple of kilowatt hours a day. Uh, this inverter is about 10 years old, I think, but it still runs really well. Unfortunately, this little thing can't produce enough electricity, NG 12 volt, to actually run this device. So I'm gonna order a 48 volt one when I get some spare coin and just put a 48 volt inverter there and see if I can run part of the shed. Uh, like, I've got 16 surveillance cameras, I've got uh, a fridge, I've got some lighting in here, I've got infrared spotlights and all that sort of stuff adds up to about, I think average about 70, 80 watts an hour. But um, a couple of, um, what do you call it, backup devices and stuff run as well. So that's all in process, that's just something to, you know, kick on with, something to do really. Not, not much more than that. And the other pretty cool thing that just got delivered is a Ender 3 3D printer. Uh, very excited to get that. I am super keen to do a review on that. If there's anything you would like me to test um, or anything specific you'd like me to do with that video, let me know in the comments below. Uh, one of the things that I want to do with it is because I didn't actually pay for this, but I don't have any filament yet. I've got to grab the filament. But if anybody wants some um, 3D printed stuff, and why is that bent? Huh. Uh, anybody wanting any 3D printed stuff, you are welcome to reach out to me. And if as long as you pay for the filament, um, I will print it for you and then send it over to you. Um, I think that's about it, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I can't wait to do the review on this and put this to work. I will make sure I run it from that power wall, but I'll need a bigger inverter. That's a really good idea. Thanks very much for tuning in. Let's go watch Ellen on the moon. Oh, whoever's going to the moon. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. This is actually good. I love it.